Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today we're we'll be testing out some wigs because I'm just feeling more confident about wearing wigs recently. So I've done videos with Timu, right? And then in one of them I like got sent a wig. I picked out a wig from them and it was really good quality. So in the next video, I was like, I'm gonna purchase some wigs of my own money. We're gonna see how they are, you know, PR versus purchased. And I had a fun time with that and that video did really well for me. So I said, hey, you know, I'm always trying to look my best and fake hair looks better than my normal thin straggly hair. So I decided to pick up more wigs from them. So this video is not sponsored. I did purchase these myself, but today we're gonna test out some Timu wigs that were really affordable. I will put the price that I paid for these items on the screen for you, but yeah. And all, as always, I'm gonna give a little shout out to my Etsy store if you guys wanna support my small business. It's mostly spooky and sweet accessories. You know what's linked down below for you. If not, that's okay too. But let's do a like a little synopsis of what a synopsis of what I purchased. So firstly, I got a clip and bang. I've tried clip and bangs before. I've tried all these things before, except the ponytail. But um, it's a clip and bang. It is silver and black. You know, I've always loved like this piece of my hair being a blonde color. Like I love the little money piece. However, you know, this year I've really been trying to heal my hair. That may change soon. But you know, I've been rocking all black hair and I kind of just miss having a nice bright piece of blonde or silver or gray in the front. So I figured a clip-in would be really easy to try out. I also have two very similar wigs. Now I did make this order in the middle of the night because insomnia. So I didn't really realize these were that similar at the time until I placed the order. <laughs> um, but these are very similar. One is a 20 inch, one is a 22 inch. It is a black wavy wig. I'll put them on the screen. It's a black wavy wig with bangs. They, they look very similar, but we're going to see if, because they're from two different sellers on the site, is there a difference in quality, is there a difference in density, or is it the same listing just through a different seller? We're going to see. I mean, obviously it's a two inch length difference, but we're going to see if the quality is good. I also picked up a faux ponytail because I use the faux hair buns all the time with like braids in them or just messy buns just to add extra volume to my hair when it's up. All the time but i've never actually tried a ponytail so i thought this one would be fun it's pretty long and then i also grabbed a burgundy red wig like a deep red wig but i thought i ordered orange so we're gonna have to go through and make sure order this color because i thought i ordered an orange wig but we'll see who knows what i did in the middle of the night i also ordered a couple wig caps i ordered three wig stands and one of these elastic Bands, like you put your wig cap on and then you put this over it and it's supposed to like give you some good grip so your hair doesn't go anywhere. Which is always a worry for me, especially if I'm like gonna go do stuff with the wig on. I don't wanna keep touching it up. So we're gonna see if this actually holds it better than without. Okay, so looking at it, I definitely did order a maroon, reddy, purpley color for the red wig. Um, just for some clarity on that one because I don't remember what I ordered. I thought I ordered an orange one, but I think the orange one I wanted was out of stock when I wanted to go place the order. I guess let's start off with the clip in bangs. This is gonna be the easiest one to test out. Okay, so it's very shiny. If you are not familiar with wearing synthetic hair and it tends to be on the shinier side than like natural hair fibers, you can dry shampoo it or baby powder it and it'll look less shiny. Um, but I'm just gonna try it on as is for now. It has two clips in the back. I mean, I love the color, the black and the gray, I really do, so let's try. I'm gonna have to put it pretty freaking far back for it not to be like, blocking my eyes are we serious uh okay so <laughs> this is it's like so far back there it's like i could trim it right i could trim it and put the actual hair here instead of all the way back here but other clip and bangs that are like really affordable that i've purchased through amazon i've always had them already pretty much the maybe like a slightly off but pretty much the length i already need them at Okay, so I just wanted to go look in the mirror and like try to straighten this because right now I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror. And like a whole chunk of the silver hair just fell out when I touched it. Like I just wanted to go move a piece over and it just a whole chunk fell out. So this one I'm not too confident about. I mean, I definitely have seen worse before. Um, I don't know. It's not even like an evenly split situation. This one's not my favorite. I think next let's compare the two wigs that I bought that were very similar and see how they are. Also, I did only buy synthetic hair for this because the whole point of me ordering from Timo was trying to be affordable. And like, especially when it's black hair, I don't feel like it needs to be human. Okay, so I do understand also that my background's very dark. I'm wearing black. 
you know, um, and it's very cloudy outside. That's why I think the lighting is going to be weird in this video. So I hope you can still see the quality of the hair. But if I added artificial light, like studio lights, it's just going to wash me out. So I feel like this is the best I can do for the moment. Wig cap is on. Now let's use this thing. They come in three different colors. They had like a clear white, a champagne, and then more of a bronzy one and a black one. So I chose the champagne-y one. It feels rubbery and slick. Just gonna put it on the hairline and around. Okay, it's very tight. I would not wear this in the summertime, this band thing. It's so tight, it's gonna be so hot. Like this is definitely a winter thing. I can't wear this in the summer, it's hot. It's like strangling my head and I'm not really a fan of that. But I'm just gonna throw this first wig on. Let's see how it looks. Okay, straight off the bat, <laughs> before I fix it up, everything. Not much hair down here, which makes me feel better that it's not gonna be like too full and unrealistic. Now I gotta find the bangs because this is a whole mess. Okay, so as best as I could, I tried to clean this up and like find the bangs in here. Here are the bangs. This is a whole mess. Like I feel like this down here looking kind of shaggy and cute um, is nice. This has like all this fake bang right here which adds extra volume. It doesn't seem realistic for the front of your face. And then I keep trying to get these bangs nice, but I think I'm just gonna have to trim these because there's a lot of them that are long and then some that are actual normal size. So let me trim the bang. Okay, so without like straightening this thing because it kind of defeats the purpose of buying an already styled wig, here's what we have going on. I feel like I'm in a 80s hairband. I don't love it. Um, it looked much more casual and pretty on the models, obviously. Um, I just feel like these bangs are not right. Again, I could go through and straighten them a little bit, but um, they're just straggly in the front. They're like, there's not even that much of them and it's not enough to sweep to the side and act like it didn't happen. Cause when I do that, all you see is this weird poofiness here. So let's move on. Oh, my head is sweating. I had to take the elastic band off. Okay, so the next wig that was very similar to the last one, but I'm hoping for better results now. This hair is the longer one and it's much more full. I will say it has more volume. It feels more um, evenly distributed of hair, even though the other one felt more realistic at the bottom because it was thinner and hair naturally gets thinner towards the bottom. I'm trying to find the little bangs and I'll take out the long pieces. This is so much hair. I'm feeling very Beatrix. Is that her name? Beatrix um, from Harry Potter right now. This is very fluffy, a lot of hair. The straggly little bangs, I'm gonna go trim them so we can just see it. You know, I'm a little disappointed. I thought at least one of these black ones I was gonna be able to wear whenever my hair was dirty and I just wanted to hide it. Um, so here's this one. It's definitely a lot fuller. Like you could take like a little razor and thin it out or whatever. So it's not as like woof, so much hair, even though I mean, it. <laughs> I feel like a pretty poodle. Um, the bangs straggly i think it's just how they're you know in the bag and getting smushed for whoever knows how long they've been in that bag they don't look great this one though i did see that i could kind of push them to the sides and i don't have that weird like poof right here this one kind of just has longer um front pieces so i could push this to the side and if i wanted to show my real scalp which has black hair um i could a little bit you know so this is this one definitely different than the last one it was a fun experiment to see like, these look very similar. Are they different? They're definitely different. But let's move on now to the, the burgundy one, which <laughs> we had such good luck with the first, uh, uh, the blonde wig I tried on and then the red one and then the blonde with the bangs I didn't love. But like the previous wig video, I feel like I liked them more, but I don't, I don't know why this one is like way more extreme, but I don't hate it as much as the last one. <sighs> this color, you guys this color um i will say if you have a deeper complexion you're going to fill the scalp part in with like a little bit of concealer because it does have a already colored scalp for you which is pretty light so keep that in mind Ooh, i'm excited about this one i know these bangs are probably gonna be pretty long because they looked long on the model too but this color is gorgeous oh my god okay um so the bangs are too long we will trim them in a second but this color this is so much hair like it's very long like you know my natural hair is already thin and brittle it would never ever get this long um i'm gonna trim the bangs 
<laughs> we're gonna see it. I'm so excited about this. Why? I don't know. It's gorgeous. I am obsessed right now. I am obsessed with myself at the moment. Okay, so let's do all the hair forward, right? Here's all the hair forward. Okay, it's, it's a lot of length. Honestly, I might would chop off like to here, you know, because this is just a lot, but maybe I wouldn't because it's, oh, oh, it's so beautiful. And like if you rock it with just one little bit of hair over and you put on like a really big dangly earring, like I'm obsessed with this one. Oh, is that my real hair? Hide that, hide. Okay, I'm obsessed. Is it obviously a wig? Yeah, of course, a blunt bang very full beautiful volume no imperfections is it look like a wig yes do i give a crap no i'm obsessed with how this looks on me the scalp up there who cares i mean it's clearly obviously a wig <sighs> i don't care it's so beautiful it's so freaking beautiful I know you guys don't want to see me just like gawking over myself in this thing, but oh my God, who is she? She's like the most beautiful berry pinup fantasy of my entire life. Again, very obvious you're not wearing your real hair and very obvious that I don't care. I would so wear this like whenever. I mean, obviously it's hot right now to be wearing a wig, but like I think I would probably suffer just to look this hot. Even if I just tuck it all behind me, like, oh, look at the little curl. Beautiful. I'm obsessed with this one. Okay, I can't linger on this too much. We still have another wig to, we still have another wig to do. I'm obsessed. Oh, okay. I want one of these in orange. I want one of these in black. I want one of these in purple. All the colors. Okay, let's move on now to the ponytail. We still have the ponytail, the ponytail to try on. And I am going to wear my actual hair up today. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, my hair is up now. I do leave two pieces down in the front because I'm a millennial and I look like a ball of rat without a little piece of my hair down. So this is what I do every time. This is my ponytail. Pretty standard and this is the fake ponytail. It's a claw clip instead of like a clip on. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get it out of here because it's tangled in the claw clip. Okay, here we go. Long pony, a little bit of curl at the end which I think is very cute. I'm gonna use the claw clip thing to just clip it on over my real ponytail. How do I show you this? And meanwhile, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I hope me turning around actually showed something. I don't know. This, this ponytail is very heavy. It's dragging my real ponytail, my real hair down. Like it's, it's very heavy weighing on it. The clip itself does have a little bit of weight too. I try to put my regular ponytail on as tight um, as I could without like making a little baby bun out of it. So this ponytail looks, oh, looks like this. It's a uh, very long and very long, very substantial in length. If I put it over my shoulder like this, this is how it looks. Um, it looks good. It's just uncomfortable in general. It's just too much hair weighing my real thin hair down. I feel like your hair is very thick naturally. Um, it probably wouldn't pull it down as much, but because my hair is already so thin and I got a rand wrapped around it, grabbing what little hairs I do have, I feel like this is just very heavy. It's my real hair stops here. This goes all the way down there. It's cute. It was very cheap. It's good for pictures, but like wearing it out and about is just too heavy for me. I'd rather wrap a fake messy bun around it. Although I will say this being on a claw clip, is very convenient and it matches the hair. And then also under here, they have one of these like little scrunchy things. You can push the button and pull the string tighter. So cute. Now let's break it down and discuss since that's all I chose to purchase. This, I mean, if I really wanted to rock it, I would trim it and dry shampoo it so it's less shiny, but I don't really think it was amazing. But again, I could I could trim it and put it at an actual normal length so it does look better. So this isn't off the table. I will probably trim it just to see how it looks and see if I can wear it because why not? The ponytail, it's fine. I would suggest it better for thicker hair. I feel like if you have really thin hair like me, 
You could do a thin ponytail, but make sure it's like the tie around kind. The claw clip is just kind of pulling on my actual hair, which isn't my favorite. Or you could stick to a messy bun like what I usually do. As far as the black wigs go, the first one I tried on is giving me hairband vibes. I like the thinner ends because it does feel more realistic. However, it was just shabby looking on me. The bangs were too straggly to look good unless I try to straighten it. But again, it's synthetic hair. You got to be really careful about not burning it off. And um, you couldn't hide the fake bangs if you really wanted to, even though there wasn't many of them. The other one, which gave me Helena Bonham Carter vibes. I like this one more, even though it's less realistic because it is super fluffy. But the bangs were straggly. You could hide them, though. And it was, it was fluffy, so it's good character hair, not everyday hair for me. This thing, I'm not wearing this in the summer, I'll tell you that right now. I will take the risk of someone snatching my wig, even though I'll use like the little clips to secure it to my head. I will use this in the winter because I feel like it did give me a good grip. It definitely gave a good grip to the hair, so I didn't want to slide around because you know sometimes it kind of wants to drift back as you're doing things, but it's way too hot for this right now because it like suffocates your head like this silicone suffocates your head if you have a very tiny head maybe more comfortable but i have a normal size head and it's suffocating me so what does that say if you have a big head it's probably gonna hurt even more the best thing out of this haul i love this burgundy wig you guys you guys are probably gonna see it a lot i mean if you see me out and about i might be wearing it too because it's beautiful it's beautiful. I don't even care if it looks like an obvious wig because it's so stunning that like what you're going to say, I still look beautiful. You know, but <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think down below. Which one was your favorite? Do you, are you obsessed with the red one like I am? Because I want to see if that exact same hair by the exact same seller comes in different colors. Because just like where I thought I had two of the same ish black wigs that were very different from different sellers. I just want to make sure that I'm getting the same hair as the, perp the, the burgundy one. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you later. Have a beautiful day. This was super, super fun. If you want to see the rest of my Timu order, I did end up posting a little Timu haul onto my TikTok. So you can check it out there. Okay. Bye guys. Have a good one.